My friend, we have done many cool accessories for the impact driver on this channel and here is another one. It does not matter what brand you use, this bit will work and make your life a thousand times easier when dealing with the dreaded screw. So sit back, relax and let me show you how to make your life easier. Now we have done a couple different bit attachments on this channel that a lot of people said I just didn't know about or I do use and it really helps me out. And if you're a subscriber to this channel, which you should be, you know where I'm going with this. This is the 10 times magnetic screw lock system from DeWalt. That's real shiny like. It is really shiny and not only that, it's a bit of an upgrade compared to the last one that we showed you where you didn't really like it being plastic. This is metal and it's a lot easier to find. I'll even put a link in the description below for you. All right, let's see the old way of doing things. You throw in your bit, it's ready to go. You grab those horrible Phillips bits, which I don't even use anymore. They will work with any screw, but that's what happens. Boom, so frustrating. So how can we better secure that screw on the tip? Take Fail. Eh, I absolutely got it. Wood glue. Fail. All right, fine, that's not gonna work either. But I bet you if I got some rope, we could tie it up, put it right there. Alright, fine. We'll just use a shiny bit then. So that's how it works. You're just going to throw that on just like so. Pops on. Now it works really well with the DeWalt bit. But there's a magnet that goes around the outside of this. Sticks right on there. Just like the other one that I showed you. Except for this one's metal. It's built a little bit better. But check out how powerful it is. You just throw that screw on and it sucks onto it. It just really throws a tight grip on those screws and again it does not matter what screw you're using you can use phillips torx whatever but it just grabs on and it does not let go but of course we got to put it to the test subscribe so here's what we're going to do we're going to put that on just like so and we are on the low speed now but check it out it is not going anywhere How sweet was that? And it also works on the mode too. Okay, it has its limitations, but what do you expect? Now, as mentioned earlier, it works really, really good with the DeWalt bit. You just throw it on top like so, and it seats down towards the bottom, and it has that magnet down towards the bottom of the bit, and it'll actually pull itself back in. Yes, I know I need to stop biting my fingernails, but it definitely stays out of the way. Now, a couple people had asked me in the last video, will it drive the screws down yes it will drive the screws down to about an eighth of an inch past the top of whatever work surface you're using i will demonstrate this right here now another thing that's really cool about this is that you don't even have to touch that screw you can see it went down past about a quarter of an inch and then we'll pull that back out but you don't even have to touch the screws if you're working in hard to reach areas or hanging off of a ladder somewhere like a lot of other people said this is the thing that you need to look at not only because it's easier but it's a little safer as well you know another nice thing about these is that they are very very cheap again i'll put a link in the description for you but you're only looking at a few dollars for one of these and the metal bit will definitely outlast the plastic bit even though i have not had any issues with the plastic bits other people have mentioned that well the magnet fell out i have not had any issues with this or that but i'm not saying that it's not a possibility the other thing I will say, even though I have not had any comments on this, you know, I guess that tip could get in your way if you're working in tighter areas. Now, if you're wondering if it works with other bits, we already mentioned that. Yes, here is the Milwaukee Shockwave. It does not work as good just because it goes down a little bit further on the bit. But once you get it down, it'll work just fine. Now, even though this bit is built a little bit better than the plastic bit that we showed right here in the other video, it does have one downside to it. It does not work on every single bit that I tried like the plastic one did. You can see I have a special bit here that I use for certain lags, but this just will not go down over top. It has to have the Phillips head or the Torx head or something with that smaller or thinner shaft. You can't tell that it is very powerful. You're picking up four screws, up oh, three screws, but those bits definitely have to be tapered like this. So my friends, I'm curious, what do you think about this bit? Do you like it better than the other ones I have shown you already? 
or do you like this one a little bit more? Do you have this? Have you tried it? Let me know in the comment section below. Let me know what you think. Now, as always, if you like this video or it helped you in any way, please don't forget to smash that like button. Even if you didn't like the video and didn't help you in any single sort of way, don't forget to smash that like button. Come over and say hi to us on the Instagram page at Tool Review Zone. Don't forget to subscribe and hit that bell notification so you don't miss out on any other cool tools. With that, we'll be back with more videos soon.